Hello children, I welcome you back to this portal of e-learning. I hope you all are doing well. Today the topic I have taken is from the writing section. We have completed two short compositions so far that is notice writing and advertisement writing. Today we are going to do invitation writing that is also among the category of short compositions in your syllabus. Invitations, they are extended to relatives, friends, acquaintances and clients on a number of social occasions like marriages, births, engagements, deaths or other public functions. So we are going to study in detail how to write them, what is their significance, what are the rubrics involved and how to draft them. Normally we are going to study the invitations, the formal and informal, but also we are going to learn today how to write replies to invitations or the both types. Let us begin. So what's the significance of invitation? As we all know that man is social by nature. Hence, interaction and communication between human beings is quite natural. In fact, it is unavoidable. We may share views either verbally or in writing. Writing has its own significance while we talk about any piece of it any kind of composition and specifically when it comes for official use. Also, the social significance of it, as in we hold many social func functions such as celebration of birthday, engagement, wedding, marriage anniversaries, appointment, promotion. So invitations, they form an important part of social dealings. An invitation, it's a request to an individual to come or go somewhere or to do something. Invitations can be both formal as well as informal. Formal invitations are formal letters. They can be printed on cards or can be drafted in the form of social letters. So let us talk about the types of invitations. Now further on, the formal invitations, they can be of two types, printed invitation cards, inviting guests to be present on a particular occasion. Such invitations, they do not include the name of the addressee. So the formal typed handwritten letter addressed to a VIP invited to preside over a social, cultural or educational function. In these invitations to VIPs, the name of the addressee appears prominently. Formal invitations, you should also remember that they are formal in language and polite, crisp to the point, pleasant and courteous. Informal invitations, they generally take the shape and form of personal letters. We use these to invite our friends relatives and dear ones with whom we have intimate, personal and friendly relations. In informal invitations, the tone and treatment is comparatively relaxed, informal and friendly. Formal invitations. A formal invitation is normally, in general, a single sentence presentation in third person. So these are the points that you should remember. Formal invitations are generally printed invitation cards and we use them to invite guests on some auspicious occasions like birthdays, weddings, inauguration of shops, houses and such other things. The invitation answers the questions who, whom, when, where, what time and for what. For example, the occasion that has to be clearly mentioned, 
name or names of the invitee name or names of the host the date time and venue the other details include name designation and address of the organizer the sponsor or the host or also the name of the chief guest or special invitees in case of an official invitation printed formal invitations they do not include the name of the addressee invitations to important people to preside over a function do carry the name of the vip prominently and length as per the cbsc guidelines it is limited to 50 words so all your short compositions they have to complete in 50 words informal invitations at the other hand they follow the pattern of ordinary personal letters these letters are written to relatives friends and acquaintances these letters are first or second person presentations personal feelings and emotions they can find an expression in these letters the writer's address is given in the usual place the salutation is usually dear including the name after that the date of the writing is given but the year is generally omitted now you need to understand what we are discussing and we are learning how to write formal or informal invitations our target is to prepare this topic for exam so while i say that the year is generally omitted the last two digits generally they are presented by double x the style and the tone that's relaxed and informal different tenses can be used here as the since demands the complimentary close it is yours sincerely we do not write faithfully anymore and it has been replaced by sincerely now what are the rubrics for invitation writing you need to understand that each question that we are going to answer in your board paper they follow a certain rubric so the rubric for assessment for evaluation it is usually in the form of a matrix or grid and it is a tool that is used to interpret and grade the students work against criteria and standards rubrics are sometimes called criteria sheets grading schemes or scoring guides as well for this particular topic the maximum marks awarded are 4 the further split wherein two marks for the content and two marks for the expression are given word limit as we already have discussed that is 50 words now let us begin with the sample we'll begin with formal invitations here the question that reads Messrs Shamlal and Sons are opening a new general store Galaxy Novelties in Geetanjali enclave Dwaraka Delhi The inauguration ceremony is fixed for Sunday the 19th of October 20xx at 11 am Prepare a draft of formal invitation letter for the purpose So you see in this question all the information has already been provided to us what is happening when it is happening where it is happening and who is going to organize it so we need to keep in mind all the information before we put it in the form of an invitation so how will go about for this particular question now before you give it a reading with the first look you can make out that different kind of fonts have been used here so while we are drafting formal invitations and that's what it makes this short composition quite different from other compositions that we have studied so far the alignment has to be centralized with the name of 
the firm, the person, the institution who intends to invite at the top. In this case, here it is Messrs. Shamlal and Sons. Then we write the liner, announce the opening of now what they are opening that we mentioned. That's a general store. Where they are opening it, we provide the address. And what's the main function, the main event that we write in the bold? What's the day and the date? and the timing then we have to address in a very formal language as in all are cordially invited visit for all kinds of grocery and domestic items now here you see it's not only the invite that the person is targeting at there's a line also that would add to the business later on that says avail inaugural discount of 10% on all goods and the complimentary clause says RSVP and the address that's given in the short along with the contact number. So this is how we go about the formal invitations. We'll discuss a few more sample for the question that says draft an invitation on behalf of Mr. and Mrs. Rajkaran of 38 Kamal Kunj Varanasi, which they may use to invite their friends and relatives on the fifth birth anniversary of their son Nikhil at their residence on December 28. Let's go quickly by the sample. So, who is inviting? Then an address. Mr. and Mrs. Rajkiran request the pleasure of your benign presence on the auspicious occasion of, now what the occasion is, that has to be mentioned in bold, of their son, then the son's name, at their residence, address that has already been mentioned in the question that we put over here, with the timing and the date, and we close it, with the name of the person and the contact information. So it's quite a simple task to do. Because here we don't have to churn our brains so much. All the information that is required that is already mentioned in the question. Now if we go about sample 3, wherein this invitation is for a marriage. And the question says your sister Nivedita, she is going to marry Akhilesh. And in parenthesis the information about the boy is given. Now your father Mr. K.S. Bhardwaj has planned to hold a wedding at so and so hotel on so and so date and the timing is mentioned and you need to write a formal invitation for it provide other details now you see how this question is different from the previous questions in previous questions you were not asked to create any details further you need to read the question in examination very carefully because it's the step-by-step -step marking that will take place and you cannot afford to lose marks for the petty errors. The sample for the question given over here, the same thing, we begin with the person who is inviting. Now here you need to remember that it's you who is drafting the invitation. But you will not begin with your name at the top. You need to keep in mind who is inviting. So that name you keep at the top, then the address, request the pleasure of your company or request your benign presence on the auspicious occasion of, no what is the occasion, of whom you provide the timing, the date, the venue. Now when we talk about the other details, so these are the other details that we have mentioned over here. So you should keep in mind that what other details should be related to a certain event, should be knowing it beforehand. And it could only be possible if you have practiced enough before the exam. Short composition is of four marks and out of all the four topics, two definitely will be there. So we are not going to leave any of the question. 
and it's the simplest of the tasks to do because it's the set format you don't need to remember anything everything else is mentioned in the question you just have to keep it in the format so you remember the format you put the information right and the task is done you move ahead with another sample for formal invitation i tried to incorporate the different kind of samples so that we can cover a variety of topics now look at this question that says you are a student of newton public school nagpur the school is holding its annual function on saturday the 15th november at 11 am now there is another line over here that you could read the hrd minister dr m m joshi has consented to be the chief guest so in this case there has to be a mention of it so the task over here again is to design an invitation card to be sent to the parents and other invitees now for this particular event the invitation would have gone to the hrd minister also few other dignitaries and a separate invitation for the parents and the other people so need to understand demarcate that line so what should be the content over there let's go to the sample quickly now it's not only the principal who is to be mentioned over there at the top because while we are writing an invitation on behalf of an institution we need to include the staff and the students as well so that's what it opens up with the principal staff and students of now the name of the school we change the address before we had been using benign prisons here we have changed it to solicit the pleasure of your company on the auspicious occasion of the annual function of their school then the timing and the date is mentioned now you remember about the chief guest that line we need to write over there in this case that says dr m m joshi the designation over there hrd minister government of india will be the chief guest and give away the prizes to the students and the complimentary close rsvp principal newton public school along with the contact number the next sample is a different one you are the principal of zodiac senior secondary school uti the school has completed 25 years of its meritorious services to the society so in lieu of it silver jubilee celebrations are to be held on sunday and mrs m kamath the founder principal will preside over the function and the task is again to draft a suitable invitation to be sent to important dignitaries of the city and the parents of the students we have a look at the sample that again begin with the principal staff and students of zodiac senior secondary school uti invite you on the so rather than writing it solicit your presence so this another way of writing it invite you on the silver jubilee celebrations of their school on the day date timing and where the venue need to be mentioned and at last we write over there founder principal of the school has kindly consented to preside over the function to give away prizes and mementos here a line you could see that's written beside the complimentary close that say program overleaf so this is what we just write for the reference that's how it is written we don't have to mention any program over there right it may contain the directions to school it may contain the contact information of the other people who are involved who are to be contacted in case of any query any confusion that's what it is written it sometimes may be written in the bracket program over leave both the ways it is correct the last sample for it for the question you are the secretary of haryana civil medical doctors association this address given there 
you have to organize a seminar on aids for the members of the association to which you have invited a specialist guest speaker draft an invitation for publication in the newspaper here the target audience is larger so we can have a symbol over there at the top and we can directly begin with the occasion at the medical seminar and then we begin inviting the people saying so we take immense pleasure in inviting all the members of the haryana civil medical doctors association to a talk then what's the concern over there what's the topic of talk that we need to mention date timings and the venue the information about the guest speaker that we should provide to guest speaker dr p s eluwalia in the bracket we can provide a designation of the speaker there is a note given over there the program will be followed by lunch now who is organizing it so that information along with the address and the contact number will go along with the complimentary clothes we move ahead to informal invitations they are pretty different from the formal invitations because formal invitations they are more crisp concise to the point and short in nature meanwhile informal invitations they are more of the letters for instance has this question given to you in the sample rohit has got success in cbsc pmt he wants to celebrate his admission to shivaji medical college nagpur by throwing a party to his friends so the nature of invitation obviously going to be informal but the details of venue time and day that is required word limit here is also 50 words so when it is said the word limit is 50 words you can go maximum to 60 not more than that and not less than 45 here we begin with the address so that is how it is different first of all it is not be put in the box as in the case of the formal invitations it should begin with the address then we begin with the address to the person dear with a name and the message the message says you will be glad to learn that i have secured 18th rank in the cbsc pmt competition i have got admission in a prestigious institution shivaji college nagpur i want to share a few happy moments of my life in the company of my old mates at a dinner in the hotel kanishka at 9 pm on so and so date please join the celebrations and merry making yours sincerely so it's also very short composition and it contains all the information that is required next sample 2 for informal invitation where in the question reads you are lena sen the wedding of your elder sister raima is going to held on 15th may write out an informal invitation to your friend when you are requesting her to attend the function now you must be wondering we have just discussed a wedding invitation there was a formal one now if the question comes in examination it will be mentioned over there that you need to draft a formal invitation or an informal invitation so this is an informal invitation for the same event we have studied we have discussed a sample for the wedding invitation that's formal one that's a wedding invitation but the informal one so we write the address and the date and we give away the message you will be pleased to know that the wedding of my elder sister raima is going to be held on so and so date at particular venue the whole family will move there in the morning i invite you to join us at lunch in the hotel on the 15th The wedding ceremony will take place at eight in the evening. I do hope you will join us on the auspicious occasion. So we keep it short. We do not waste time in asking how have you been doing, how's your family doing, right? So we keep it to the point. Sample three for informal invitation. You are Ankit Verma. Your friend from Malaysia is staying in a hotel. 
invite him to join the Pavali celebrations with you at your residence. So this is again in-person invitation. You begin with the address, the normal date. You write the salutation with the year along with the name and you write over the message over there. You know that Diwali, the festival of lights, is approaching. It gives me great pleasure to invite you to Diwali celebrations at my residence. We shall have great fun. Do join us for the puja and Diwali celebrations and the complimentary clothes. We move ahead with sample 4 that says you are Naveen or Neha, the secretary of the youth club of your locality. You are organizing an inter-school group song competition. Invite a prominent musician to act as one of the judges. So this is in-person invitation but the informal one. So you mark the address now you must be wondering whose address you have to written over there. It's the person who is inviting. His address will go over there. Not the address of the person to whom you are sending it. Because that address, it would go on the envelope. So while you are drafting the invitation, it's your address that has to be there. Now you must remember the format of formal letters or the informal letters. Wherein there are two addresses given there and between them the mention of the date. But in case of invitations, it's only the person who is writing the invitation. His or her address will go at the top. Then followed by the message. For this question it says, I shall feel obliged if you kindly spare some time from your busy schedule and consent to act as one of the judges for an inter-school group song competition to be held on so-and-so date at 2 p.m. in the community center, Dehradun Road. You also write a line over there, kindly confirm your acceptance. So that will take us to the replies to invitation, that is another topic. And you may have the question saying, stating, write a reply to so-and-so invitation. That also we are going to study in detail. So we write the complimentary close and we end it. Sample 5 and the question reads, Nikhil has come out successful in the IIT entrance examination. He has decided to have a party for his friends and the task again is to write an invitation giving the details of venue, time and date. So begin with the address, then give the message that says to join me on so and so date. It's another way how you can begin with it. In the previous invitations that you have seen so far, the timing, the date and the venue, they have been mentioned later. So there's another way you can begin with it. At my residence at an intimate party to celebrate my success in the IIT entrance examination. You'll meet a lot of our old friends also looking forward to seeing you and the name of the person who has written it. Now there is this assignment given to you. I try to include all the types of the questions. Do complete the assignment and email me followed by certain practice questions. Read the question ample number of times so that you cannot miss out on any information while you are drafting the invitation. If you have any query about it, you can always write back. I'll respond to you. Now let us begin with writing replies for both kind, formal and informal. So how we respond to the invitations. So formal reply is usually very short. It is brief and to the point concise. The quality of a good reply is that it must always be pleasant. So whatever excuse you are providing for not attending or if you are accepting it, the language has to be very pleasant. Even while declining the invitation, you have to be courteous enough. Or you are expressing inability to attend one, you must be polite. Formal replies, they demand a formal tone and treatment. 
there is no room, there is no space for unnecessary details or superfluous matter in them. An informal reply or private letter may, however, express personal feelings or desires in an intimate style and informal tone. But you need to again demarcate the both while you're writing an informal reply or a formal reply. So you have to be very selective about the words. Now, what's the main characteristics for the formal replies first? You need to acknowledge the invitation first. Whether you are going to accept it or whether you are going to decline it. The first thing is providing your acknowledgement to the invitation. How we do that, that we are going to discuss in the samples further. You need to express thanks in the third person. You mention the acceptance or the regret. Be specific about your reason for refusal. While we say specific, you also need to remember the reason has to be the valid one. While you're writing for the formal replies, it should not be something very personal. Also, you cannot give away the reasons that has no reality into it. For instance, you cannot say that I have to go to Mars. So that's the reason I could not come. It has to be very specific. Be brief, be to the point. And also the tone and the treatment of the entire reply, it has to be very formal. Not to exceed the word limit, that is 50 words. Meanwhile, if you are dealing with informal replies, you need to acknowledge the invitation in first person. Use the second person for the sender of invitation. Mention acceptance or regret. Be specific about the reason in case of refusal. Use a warm, pleasant, but simple language. And the word limit for informal replies also is 50 words. Now let's go about certain samples. It would be more clear to you and how we weave around the formal replies. This is the first sample for your reference. For the question that says draft a formal reply, the question says it's a formal reply, not the informal one. Accepting an invitation to be present on the occasion of the wedding of Ankush, son of Mr. and Mrs. Shankar Tripathi, whose address is 24 Green Park Road, Kanpur. And you are Vikram Kaur. So the question directly says it's going to be a formal reply and you are going to accept the invitation. You will be reading different kind of samples over here. Few stating that you are going to accept it. Few stating that you need to refuse it. And few providing you a choice. For that reason, to finalize it what actually you have to weave around, you need to give a good reading to the question. So the answer for it would look like Mr. and Mrs. Vikram Gaur thank Mr. and Mrs. Shankar Tripathi for inviting them on the occasion of the wedding of their son at 24 Green Park Road on so and so date. So it is the acknowledgement of the invitation. Now you are accepting it because well, that's what the question says. So you add to that and assure them that they will be present on the occasion to wish the newlyweds a very happy married life. And Mr. and Mrs. Gore will reach Kanpur by the Agra mail which leaves Agra at 8 a.m. And the person's name at the end who has written this acceptance of the invitation. So there is no address that includes in the reply. The second sample wherein the question says, write a formal reply expressing your inability to attend. So it's a refusal, the formal refusal you're going to write to attend the birthday celebrations of your friend Suresh Pradhan. The address is given out there and you are Somesh. So how the answer would look like? First the acknowledgement that Mr. and Mrs. Somesh Basu wish to thank Mr. and Mrs. 
Suresh Pradhan for extending an invitation to the birthday celebrations of their son Akshay Kamal at the residence 12-1-2-3-5 Vivekanand Mark, Balur on 20th March. That's an acknowledgement. It's a part of the question only. And wish the young boy many happy returns of the day. Then you extend the thanks and the wishes. But you add that connector over there. But regret their inability to be present personally on account of some previous engagements. So that's what we have talked about while you're writing the formal replies. And specifically, while you are expressing your inability to attend it, you don't need to go into the personal details about it. You simply write on account of some previous engagements. And just write your name and mark the date over there. Sample 3. Well, the question reads, you are Dr. Avinash Bhalla. You have received an invitation from the Director of Health Services, Haryana, who has invited leading medical practitioners of the state to attend a workshop in civil hospital Ambala respond to the invitation. Now you see over here that is neither the refusal that the question is saying and nor the acceptance. Now the choice it is entirely up to you how you go about it. So you can write the acceptance or you can write the refusal. So you need to select between the two with what with which one you are more comfortable with. Which format you remember the best. So here, the answer says, Dr. Avinash Villa has a great pleasure in receiving the invitation. So that's what the acknowledgement is. From the Director of Health Services, Haryana, to attend a workshop on child care on this in this date at so and so time. He confirms his presence with thanks. This is a one-liner you are going to add over there. So Dr. Avinash is accepting the invitation. Now, for this question, wherein, again, the option is up to the learner that you need to respond in positive, in affirmative, or you're going to decline for it. For this question, that says you have been invited to participate in a seminar on fundamental rights of children. You need to respond for it. We will discuss both the acceptance and the denial for the same question. The first says acceptance of invitation. So in the previous samples that you would have seen, you would have read them, we were not mentioning the address. So this is another way of writing it and both the ways are correct. Both the ways, whichever you opt for, will provide you four on four. Now here we have mentioned the address. First of the person who has written it, and next after the date of the person who is going to receive it. <coughs> and the subject clearly mentioned over there, acceptance of invitation. Acceptance may begin directly with the thanks. So that is called acknowledgement of it. Thanks for an invitation for a seminar on the topic that is given in the question itself. And your concern for the underprivileged children. I would like to utilize this opportunity to share my experiences with the other like-minded enthusiasts and experts. So I hereby confirm my participation in the seminar and we just close it. Or the inability to accept the invitation will begin with the same acknowledgement but with the refusal of it in a very pleasant language, a courteous way saying that However, I shall not be able to accept your invitation due to some previous commitments which keep me confined to my place on that day. And you are thanking once again for the kind invitation. The informal replies. So we are done with the formal replies so far. Let's go to the informal replies. The sample number one. Wherein the question reads, you are Akash or Varsha. There could be any name over there in the question. And also you need to remember if there is no name mentioned over there in the question. You better write X, Y, Z. So here it says, you have been invited to attend the wedding of your friend's sister during summer vacation. Respond to the invitation, regretting your inability to attend it. 
And the answer reads, we begin with the address. Thank you for your cordial invitation on the occasion of your sister's wedding. I, however, regret my inability to be with you on this happy occasion as we shall be leaving for Shimla for summer holidays on 1st May. Please excuse my absence. Do convey my regards and best wishes to the couple. So you can be more personal, more intimate over there. You can provide the reason rather than simply writing on account of previous engagements or prior engagements. The second sample, wherein the question says, you are Arjun or Aparna, your school has been invited to participate in an inter-school on-the-spot painting competition organized by the Lions Club of your district. As general secretary of the painting club of your school, respond to the invitation. Again, the choice is up to you. You are accepting it or you are declining it. We begin with the address. And we simply begin, this refers to your invitation to our school to participate in the inter-school on-the-spot painting competition. We thank you for inviting us and gladly confirm our participation in this interesting competition and the complimentary close. Sample 3. When the question says you are Manoj or Mini, you have been invited to attend a birthday party of your closest friend, respond to it. We'll discuss both the decline of it and the acceptance of it. We begin with the acknowledgement, mentioning that's given in the question itself, creating certain details, and then adding to it, I am extremely happy to know that all your friends are likely to be there. I would like to confirm my participation. Looking forward to the momentous occasion. Or, you can also write Again, bringing with the acknowledgement, I regret to inform you that I will not be able to join you in the celebrations due to some very urgent and unavoidable prior engagements. Let me keep me tied down here on that day. Please accept my heartiest felicitations and love. Kindly accept a small gift that I am sending through courier. Wishing you a very happy birthday and the complimentary close. Now there is a different angle to the invitations wherein certainly you may have these kind of questions there are certain samples given to you covering the entire kind of the topics here in this question says the bloom star electronics limited Lodhiana made an offer to Bharti electronics wrote for the agency of their new model goldie water coolers and the task is to write a formal letter on behalf of them accepting the offer of the agency. So while they come under the category of replies to queries, how we go about that? We mark both the addresses beginning with of the person who is writing it and then to the person whom it is addressing for. And we simply begin with dear sir, we have to mark the address. Then Simply three lines over there. We greatly acknowledge the offer of agency of your new product with the terms and conditions contained in the appended brochure. A demand draft of rupees so and so payable at Ludhiana's is enclosed. And who has written it? So it's a little tricky. You need to remember the format. Once you practice it, so it's all very set in your mind. The next one says, draft a formal reply to Mrs. Sumit Brothers explaining why all the orders have been cancelled. So just one liner question. And that leaves you with no further information. In that case, you should have three liner ready addresses. So you simply begin with the person who is writing it. Then date. After it, mark the address and then the subject. So the subject says the cancelling of orders and how we go weaving around it. Your dealings with us defy all ethics of business norms and culture. In spite of repeated reminders, you have been deliberately withholding outstanding payments. Since the amount due towards you exceeds 10 times your deposit with us, we are constrained to cancel all your previous orders placed with us. 
so we keep it short we keep it to the point and we keep the language pleasant courteous rather sample 3 draw the formal reply to education society seeking the franchisee of abn public school delhi so that is how it has to be written after the address date salutation and subject we acknowledge the receipt of your letter dated so and so it has to be the previous date seeking franchisee of one institution please find the enclosed a brochure containing the detailed information of requirements to be fulfilled before you formally apply on the appended form and who has written it that we mark sum before in the question is you are miss s janki lecturer in physics at sharana girls school jodhpur you had or study leave for 2 years draft a reply on behalf of the principal explaining why study leave can't be sanctioned to you the question is little tricky so it's what it says after the address you simply write i regret to inform you that your application for study leave has been rejected by the governing body as you fail to fulfill the minimum eligibility period of 5 years regular service you can apply afresh as and when you are eligible to avail this facility so here the person actually who is receiving it that has not been mentioned over there you need to read the question very very carefully right this is assignment number 2 wherein you need to write the replies acceptances declinations or as per your choice respond to the invitations complete it and submit followed by the practice questions that are given for your reference for your perusal if you have any query any confusion any suggestion you can always write back complete the assignments on time Happy learning to everyone.